Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with me, Hayley Does Vlogs. Um, currently filming again from my spare bedroom, aka known as the dressing room. Um, so yeah, I thought for this video I'd just do a little check in with you guys, see what you've all been up to for the week. Um, and I also thought that I could sort of show you, well it's more of like a little TK Maxx haul, um, as I did go to TK Maxx the other day. Um, originally I just went for just like, you know, a little look around, just see what they've got in sort of like you know get an hour out of you know get out the house for an hour um so, and i did end up you know actually picking a few things up which wasn't intended um i only actually needed one of the items that i brought um so yeah it was probably a bit of a big mistake sort of going into tk maxx because you know when you go in there sometimes it's kind of hard you know not to spend your money on things that you don't really need um, so yeah, I just thought I would check in with you guys, you know, see what everyone's been up to. Um, I've had sort of like a bit of a busy week, um, sort of getting ready for Christmas. Um, I've, you know, been working, you know, majority of the days this week. Um, so today is currently Wednesday. Um, I don't finish um, for Christmas until Christmas Eve. And then I'm off Christmas Day and then I'll be back in on Boxing Day. Um, so it's just sort of been like all go, um, not really had any downtime, um, you know, it's just making sure you've got like everything, everybody's presents are sorted, you know, um, and then obviously when you get in from work, I'm just so tired, um, you know, I come in, have my tea, have a bath, the usual routine, have a cup of tea, um, and about by half past seven, I'm so ready to go to sleep, um, I don't know if that's just me or if you know other people feel exactly the same when they've you know finished work um i do get up at half past five every day for work um and i'm at work for about half past seven and i don't finish till half four um and then obviously you've got the journey time in between that as well so it is like sort of a long day um but you know the hours are good um pays the bills it's the main thing um so yeah um I'm just so excited now just to finish on Christmas Eve and just, you know, come home and just, you know, relax for a bit and, you know, be able to enjoy Christmas Day. Um, so, yeah, I've just, you know, I think I'm only off Friday this week. So that day will mainly just consist of me, you know, doing the last Christmas clean of the house, um, making sure, you know, all the Christmas Eve dramas are washed um the bedding's washed because we've actually brought new christmas eve bedding um which i got from home bargains um so it's just making sure all that's sorted um i've then got to make sure you know i freshen up my work uniform for like monday boxing day um so yeah it's just been sort of like a hectic hectic couple of days um i always find you know that this time of year it always is like really hectic you know you're trying to make sure you've got everything organized everything sorted um so yeah you're just technically running around all the time but you know i just wanted to check in with you guys um see what you guys are working over christmas um you know if you are working christmas day or you know if you're off um sort of what your plans are for christmas um i know that we're hosting christmas this year um because it will be you know sort of our first christmas in in our home so that will be really nice really looking forward to that um it's just something different um yeah so everything you know we've finally got everything sorted now we've just basically got to set up you know sort of like the table arrangements and put the table up and um, that's another thing we need to do and also bring in the chairs um from the shed outside um because there's only two of us so we only have like a small table and you know just two chairs um so all the other chairs are outside in our shed so we'll have to bring them in just give them a wipe down um put the table off and you know put the tablecloth and everything else on and we'll be good to go um for christmas day so that is going to be a friday job um also i've just got to nip out just get a few fridge bits um i've also got to drop presents off for my mum um but I've actually got my mum coming round on Christmas Eve um for tea um so that will be nice 
Um, I don't know if anybody else does this, but it's always been sort of like a Christmas Eve tradition that, you know, I've sort of been brought up on. So like every Christmas Eve, you know, we always, um, our bedrooms are always cleaned um, when we were children. We'd have fresh Christmas Eve pyjamas, we'd have fresh Christmas Eve bedding, and we would always have turkey and stuffing baps for tea. Um, I don't know if that's actually a thing for many people, but it was just a thing for us um, because obviously we, um, when we were little, my mum used to buy sort of like a medium or a large size turkey, I believe. Um, so yeah, she used to cook it like, I think she used to take it out like on the 23rd and then cook it Christmas Eve morning. And then she'd sort of have it in all day until like about four or five in the afternoon. Um, and then, you know, we'd always have like turkey and stuff in baps. So that was always really nice. Um, so I'm sort of like trying to stick to that tradition a little bit. Um, and I always have, even like as an adult, I've always had Christmas Eve dramas and fresh bedding for Christmas Eve. Um, and it's always hair wash day on Christmas Eve too. Uh, excuse me. So yeah, um, I'm just really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys um, are doing. If you've got any Christmas Eve plans, um, are you more of a go out person or do you stay in? Um, will you be spending it, you know, with friends or family? Um, you know, maybe you're going out with work colleagues um, for a few drinks after work or you're going for a nice meal. Just let me know what you guys are up to. It would be nice to hear, you know, if anybody else is working over the festive period like myself um, or if you have got it off, um, you know, and let me know what you're going to be doing Boxing Day if you're, you know, just like a eat all the chocolates and watch TV kind of person and that's how you spend your Boxing Day. Um, you know, or if you've got young children, how, you know, what do you do with them? um on boxing day um let me know what your household does on a typical boxing day um and let me know in the comment section sort of like what order you guys do your christmas day in um because i know for me we sort of do like um so we get up i'll go downstairs i'll have a cup of tea um and then we'll sort of like start opening presents um and then once we've done presents you know we'll kind of just sit about for a bit for about an hour or so and then typically we'll come upstairs you know we'll get ready for the day um i always have something new to wear for christmas day um typically like i do like to dress up on christmas day because i don't really dress up throughout the year unless it's an occasion or an event or my birthday or you know i'm going out somewhere nice i just don't really bother and like i don't really wear makeup that often um so yeah, I do like, you know, the atmosphere of Christmas day. I love getting dressed up and doing my makeup. Um, it's always something so different to do. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, let me know if you guys, you know, stay in your pajamas all day or are you a dress up kind of person? Um, I don't know what it is, but we've always dressed up on Christmas day. Um, it kind of feels wrong to stay in my pajamas all day Christmas day. Don't know why but it does <laughs> um so yeah um also let me know if you guys um you know are traditional and you stick to turkey for your christmas dinner if you have a christmas dinner um or you know if you have another type of meat um what's your favorite thing to have on your christmas dinner i was about to say sunday dinner then but i realized i'm on about christmas uh, but they are pretty similar in context so yeah, just let me know like what you guys are up to um, and like I said, let me know what your traditions are, if you have any family traditions for Christmas, um, yeah, and what you are expecting to have for Christmas. Um, now I know that, you know, sometimes, especially this year, Christmas can, you know, be a bit of a hard time for everyone, um, especially through COVID. Um, I think, you know, most people found it really difficult. Um, and I know that not everyone is excited for Christmas, um, you know, and I do bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, I know that this year there is quite a few people struggling, um, obviously with the cost of living and all that going up and everything just changing. You know, I know that there are people that are genuinely struggling um, and unfortunately might not have as many presents or might not be able to afford a Christmas dinner. 
um you know so it's just it is heartbreaking but if you are one of those people then you know i genuinely think about you know the circumstances um and yeah but like i say everybody's christmas is different um and we should all just be so thankful for the people that we have around us you know christmas isn't about gifts you know it's about spending the day with loved ones um the memories um and everything else so yeah on that note um i think i'm going to show you guys um sort of what i got from tk maxx um because i feel like i'm just waffling on to you guys about christmas um and this video is already 13 minutes long so yeah so first things first um i brought this purse from tk so it is kurt geiger um and honestly when i saw this purse hanging up i was just like that has got to come home i just i don't know what it was about this but i just i just loved the color of it i just loved the look of it the, you know it's just everything that a girl could want in a purse really um and i think that the rrp on this was 96 pounds and i got it for 35 pounds so i thought it was a really good bargain um and i just fell in love with it and i was like there's no way i can leave here and, and not buy it um sort of thing because it is me and i was just like i really love it and i was sort of in need of a new purse well i wasn't but we'll just make up the excuse that i was so yeah that was that um and then very basic just picked myself up a pair of levi socks um so these are ankle socks um or low cut socks whatever you want to call them um i just picked up these because i'm in desperate need of some more ankle socks um just because i, I don't know if it's just me but i tend to put like when i wear a pair of ankle socks i'll wear them i'll put them in the wash but then i'll lose one every time and so yeah or they just get ripped very easily for some strange reason so these were 4.99 um and i just thought it was a great bargain um, next off, I did just pick myself up some tights. Um, I was in need of some, a decent pair of tights because the tights that I've brought previously, um, if they're not like a good quality um, or they're not like a good material, I do find that as soon as I've put them on, they just rip straight away. Um, and I don't really like leggings where you can, uh, leggings, tights where you can sort of see your skin through them if that sort of makes sense um i think they're sort of like the really light sheer ones that i don't like um i like my tights to be thick um and these are these are fleeced line tights so i thought you know why not um because my outfit for christmas day i do actually need a pair of tights um and every time i've gone to the shops i just keep forgetting to pick them up and when I went into to TK Maxx and I picked up my socks, I was like, I need tights. So I was like, I'll just pick these up. So I did. Um, they were $4.99. There is only one pair. But for the quality of them, I don't mind. And then I actually saw this in the gift section. Um, so they had like a few different stands with like gifts. So like gifts under £20, gifts under £15. Gifts under £10 and then gifts under £5. Um, and I saw this and I was like, this just looks like heaven. It's not a gift for anyone. I brought it mainly just for me because I thought, mm, that's nice. So it is the Rose Fleur Trio. Um, and it's by a brand called Sunday Rain, I believe. So this is sort of what it looks like. Um, so it comes with like some bath salts. Um... It comes with a body scrub and then some illuminating body oil and oh my god that body oil is incredible um so i've used it a few times already and it is just incredible it just smells so nice um when you actually take it out of the packaging by looking at it you would think that it's one of those um that sort of like leaves glitter all over your body um 
but it actually doesn't and I was quite surprised because I was like is this gonna leave like loads of glitter over my body but it didn't so I'm kind of glad about that <laughs> um but yeah it was a really really good set um and obviously if you are looking for any last minute gifts um anything like that um this was only 7.99 and the rrp of it was 14 pounds so it had gone down you know by half price and i just thought it'd make a really good gift for someone um or even if you just want something for yourself where you can sort of have a bit of a pump night um you know buy yourself a little face mask do a little face mask um i just thought that would be really good um and i fell in love with it when i saw it and i was like i need that but i really don't need it but i'm gonna buy it anyway so i did so yeah that um is sort of what i've been up to this week um obviously I went to tk maxx and i've literally just been working um i've made um a few orders of bath bombs um for friends um and sort of for myself um so yeah i've d sort of done that one day um after work making a batch of bath bombs which was really nice um yeah so i haven't really been up to much um just the usual week really but i just thought you know i'd check in with you guys just before christmas um because i know that most people you know aren't going to be on their phones on christmas um typically me you know i won't be on on mine as much um i never usually am i just have a quick scroll usually in the morning and before i go to bed on christmas day that is it um so i won't really be active um on social media so i just thought you know i'll just check in with you guys one last time before christmas um and obviously just wishing if i can get my words out and just wish you all you know a very merry christmas um stay safe um, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely Christmas, whatever you're doing. And obviously don't forget to comment down below and let me know your Christmas traditions. If you have any Christmas Eve traditions, I would really, really, really love to hear about them. Um, and if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Um, the button will be just down below. Um, and, you know, please subscribe. Um, and you'll be able you know to see more videos from myself um you'll also get notifications um from when i post um and upload a video um so yeah um on that note you know i'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for watching and i do hope that you all have the best christmas um you know just remember to be grateful for the people that are around you um and it's also a time to sort of reflect on the year the good and the bad um and just remember that you know if you are having a bad day it's just a bad day it's not a bad week and it's not a bad year or a bad month you know go to bed wake up and you'll be refreshed the next day um it's just the mindset to sort of keep yourselves in um so yeah i hope you all have a lovely christmas thank you so much for watching um and i will see you in the next video bye